Alright, just want to give you guys a quick video. Uh, lights just came on, so nothing's really opened up that well yet. You can see my tilt stool's just kind of opening up. Oh, what's been going on with him for the past few days? He's uh, He's been doing the like, shedding that they go through. But uh, Anyway, just wanted to show you guys um, some green coralline algae. I know uh, there's a lot of debates uh, out there and people aren't saying that it's real or they're saying that it's another type of algae, but I just wanted to go through and clarify. There is green coralline, there's pink, there's purple, there's orange, there's white. Um, you know, there, there's going to be colors, multicolors of all different types of algae. Um, so I just basically wanted to show you guys. If you can see right here is my mushrooms. You can see right in here there's some green spottings and right in here as well you can see also on this rock right in here um, I'm going to take you around to the back of the tank because I do have some of this growing on the glass and I do clean it off the front just because uh, you know annoying algae but I wanted to show you a better idea of what exactly this this stuff looks like here so as you can see, there is the algae, and you can see that nice green color. Let me move my cables here for you. Here's some as well. Um, a lot of people don't like the green coralline, or they're worried about it. They think that you know that it's not coralline. Guys, don't worry. Trust me. I would not leave this here in my tank if this was not good green coralline algae. You can see everything is flourishing. Uh, this is just the back shot of my tank. I don't like uh, keeping a back on there. A lot of the guys do. I just like to view everything in my tank whenever possible. My sump system, I got the uh, Aquion Model 4. I'm only running one side for the overflow right now uh, because my tank only has one overflow. But I do want to add a second tank um, somewhere down the road so I can utilize this filter uh, and use that uh, extra overflow. So, go back around here to the front and uh, I'll show you guys. It's my 92 gallon bow front and uh, currently I'm just using some uh, metal halides 175 watt. Um, I am doing some accent lighting with marine lands LED strips. Um, they're not for reef or they don't really power. They say they don't put off enough power for corals. Um, my corals respond to them um, and they're about $45 a piece. I, I mainly just got these though for nighttime viewing and the moonlights but I do leave them on all the time during the day and as you can see it gives the tank some really nice color really got some good shimmer effects going on in there um, all right well this is my second video I'm gonna start making a lot of other videos for uh, everyone out there on YouTube in case you guys have any questions or uh, anything like that uh, I'm gonna be trying to help out uh, newer people in the hobby so if you guys have any questions or any problems with anything I don't know just making a video trying to uh, make a couple buddies on the internet and talk about some reef tanks. Alright guys, hope you watch. Have a good one.